really? She's mad at me and we don't, I mean, not every day is a love day. Sometimes there is a little bit of uh, love hate here in Casa Sociale. I'm sorry. She gave me grief about my t-shirt. No, you're <laughs> like, it's beautiful. Welcome to our casa, and today we're making shui shui. But before we get started, please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and ring the bell for notifications on future videos. Shui shui means quick quick, hurry hurry in a Neapolitan dialect. So this is exactly what the dish means. Quick quick, nobody wants to be cooking anymore. Thanksgiving just happened a few days ago, that's it. Quick, easy, simple, delicious. We're going to use fresh ingredients and dress them raw and then cook them in a super, super hot, oily pan. Put the pasta right in and that's it. So let's get started. We're going to use one chipola, one onion. We're gonna slice them pretty thin, just like a little wedge. Little strips of your onion. So we're gonna use five garlic cloves and we're going to press them. So we get a nice, super garlicky flavor. If you don't have a garlic press, you can just really mince down your garlic as much as you can. We're also going to use two pints of cherry or grape tomato, whatever looks better in your store. And we're just gonna have them. Like I said, nice, easy, simple, the kind of prep you only wanna do after Thanksgiving week. And of course, a very well-deserved glass of wine. I think it's time. Tutto si muove. Tutto si muove. We've got a Giovanotti fan here. Giovanotti, she's a fan. Okay, since this beautiful, beautiful lady of a wife that I got <laughs> is cooking a very, very simple, quick recipe, but full of taste and a very pungent garlic, and I think we should pair it with a white, fresh uh, wine from the north of Italy. We are keeping it simple and we are going to drink today Sauvignon. The Sauvignon we're drinking today is one of uh, uh, big occasions, so you can find it anywhere, wine.com, everywhere. I suggest it to buy it when you have guests. It's not an every night wine, but it's absolutely, absolutely to die for. Sauvignon is not my wine of choice, uh, white. Mm, I prefer other white wines. I don't don't go crazy for Sauvignon, neither Chardonnay nor Meg. And this one, but this one is absolutely fantastic. We are in Friuli, Venezia, Giulia. The wine region and the DOC takes the name from the area where these vines are cultivated and it's called Isonzo del Friuli or Friuli Isonzo in the province of Gorizia and it's located in the southern east part of the region. In my personal opinion, the best white wines come from this region. We are very close uh, to Collio, another very, very famous uh, white wine area, and the reasons are multiple, but the maritime climate is one of the most important ones. So we're gonna have an area that is exposed to the um, warm uh, wind coming from the Adriatic Sea and the cold breeze coming from the Alps. Pretty wide diurnal temperature variation, which is the difference in temperature between daylight and nighttime. The daylight is pretty warm, allowing the grape to retain the sugar, and the night is pretty chilly 
retaining the characteristic of acidity that is very, very important in white wines. The Friuli Isonzo is an area that groups 21 different comuni, 21 villages. One of them is called Mariano del Friuli, and that's exactly where these producers are located. The producer is called Vie dei Romans, very, very popular uh, winemaker in Italy, very pretty popular and very well known in the United States. They produce high-end Sauvignon, Chardonnay, amongst other wines, also red. And under this umbrella, DOC Friuli Isonzo, you can have 17, 18 different type of wine. You have a, a big list, I don't know where we're gonna put it graphically, but Pinot, Pinot Grigio, Pinot Bianco, Riesling, uh, Schioppettino, Merlot, it's a lot of different wine that can go under the DOC, Denominazione di Origine Controllata, Isonzo del Friuli. Isonzo is the name of the river nearby where these vineyards are located. So, I want to thank Antonello again and our friends at Vias Wine Imports, all of them. Thank you so much for having given us this beautiful, beautiful bottle. Uh, I know for sure that we're gonna drink an exceptional Sauvignon, which is gonna be a perfect pairing for your shui shui. Okay, let's open it. Fantastic. Did I say everything? I don't know. I don't know at this point. We are tired. Thanksgiving just Building passed. No. <laughs> Come on, be an actress. Tutto se muove. Tutto se muove. Tutto se muove. Tutto se muove. Okay, all of those tomatoes that we have, we're gonna put them in with the onions and the garlic. And like I said before, we're gonna dress them raw before we cook them. A little bit of olive oil, a good hefty pinch of salt. We're gonna take some of that fresh basil, take off some of those leaves. This basil is so pretty. Look at that green. Beautiful. Gotham greens, local basil. We like it a little spicy, so we love to add pepperoncino to all of my tomato-based dishes. You can add a little bit if you want. I like to add probably around a fourth teaspoon. Now we throw everything into a hot pan. In a large saute pan over high heat, we're gonna add olive oil, a good amount. We wanna cover the entire bottom of the pan. We want that oil to get up to a high temperature. Give them a quick little toss. Once that oil is nice and hot, we're gonna add in all of our fresh ingredients. Oh yeah, you already smell that. Since we put that garlic in together with those tomatoes, we don't have to worry about it frying up because all the water from the tomatoes is gonna help everything cook without burning. Gorgeous pasta from Graniano. So we're gonna still keep that high heat over our sauce while we cook our pasta. When you see that pasta water become super cloudy, we're gonna take a ladle and put it right into your sauce. Add another ladle. You can add as much pasta water as you'd like because we're gonna actually finish cooking the pasta in this sauce. So you want it nice and saucy. Our pasta is super al dente, pretty much almost raw, but that's why we kept adding so much water into this sauce and release all that beautiful starchiness so our sauce thickens up. And you just want to keep tasting your pasta till it is at that perfect al dente. Perfect al dente for us. We're gonna turn off that heat 
take a little bit of that pasta water, just a little drop. We're gonna add some grated Parmigiano-Reggiano cheese. You can use Pecorino if you choose. And some more fresh basil leaves, just fully in there like that. And give it a stir. Shui, shui. Shui, shui. Okay, yeah, shui, shui. Anytime you say pomodoro and spaghetti together for me, I'm like, okay. You gotta be kidding me. Mm. I love it, how it, it's so like, Sticky and starchy. My favorite thing ever. Mm. Mm. The simplicity. Mmm, mm, man. Please. Like our video. <laughs> Subscribe to our channel and ring the bell for notifications on future videos. Oh, thank you. And good day to you, I say.